In this video, we will talk about how to find the height of an isosceles triangle. So let's say we have this isosceles triangle right here, and we know it's an isosceles triangle because these two side lengths are equal. They're both five centimeters. And then we're also told that this length right here, the base is eight centimeters. So given this information, how can we calculate the height of the triangle? Well, the height will just be the distance from this vertex right here all the way to the base. So we're trying to find the length of this line right here. What we'll notice is that when we draw this line, we're able to form a right angle right here with the base. And this line also perfectly splits the base in half. So this line segment right here will be four centimeters. Let's write that, four centimeters. And this line segment right here will also be four centimeters. So to find the height right here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem because what we have right here is a right triangle. And when we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So the side that we're missing is this side right here. So remember the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared must be equal to c squared, where a and b are the shorter side lengths and c is the hypotenuse. So for this right triangle, five is our hypotenuse. It's the longest side length. So if we want, we can call the height a, so we would say a squared plus b squared, so b is four, is equal to c squared, where we said c is five, the hypotenuse, so five squared. So we can solve for a, which is going to be the height. So we get a squared plus four squared is 16, is equal to five squared, that's 25. To solve for a squared, we can subtract a 16 from each side. So we get a squared is equal to 25 minus 16 is nine, and to solve for a, we can take the square root of each side. So we get a is equal to, the square root of nine is three. So the height of this triangle, let's write that right here. The height is equal to three, and remember our unit is centimeters. So that's how you can find the height. Now, if you wanted to, you could proceed to find the area of this triangle because the area is simply one half times the base times the height. So that would be one half times the base we said was eight centimeters. So eight times the height, the height we just found is three. So we get eight times three, that's 24. 24, half of 24 is 12. So 12 centimeters, and we would say squared since we're talking about area. So that's how you can find the height of an isosceles triangle, and then how you can use that height to then find the area of the triangle.